the Grafford Prize for 2021 in polyarthritis of 6 million Swedish kroner is awarded to Dr. Daniel L. Kastner. The citation reads, for establishing the concept of auto-inflammatory diseases. What Dr. Kastner has accomplished is absolutely groundbreaking. The concept of auto-inflammatory disorders did not even exist before Dr. Kastner identified the cause behind a number of them. And this has also led to our understanding of our immunity, understanding of the disease basis, and also uh, led, led to development of a novel therapies. Auto-inflammatory diseases are rare. Victoria Markland has one of them, TRAPS. But some 20 years ago, science could not explain why many people like Victoria Markland were suffering from odd symptoms. Den här smärtan som jag hade då när jag hade ont flyttade ju runt i kroppen. Så att en vecka kanske jag hade ont i vänsterbenet och sen eh, veckan på så hade det flyttat sig och då hade jag ont i armen istället. Dan Kastner's first steps towards finding out what these patients were suffering and dying from were taken in Bethesda, Maryland in 1985 at the National Institutes of Health. Here, Dan Kastner met with a patient who was suffering from recurring arthritis and high fevers. The patient was diagnosed with a disease called familial Mediterranean fever. Now, Dr. Kastner started a big detective work trying to find the gene or genes responsible for the disease. Dan Kastner then travels to Israel, collecting blood from 50 families with familial Mediterranean fever. He then begins the gruesome job to find the common gene or genes. After seven years, Dan Kastner and his team localizes the mutation to chromosome 16. And five years later, they are one of two teams to find the gene itself. Kastner would later say about just how small the mutation needed to be, it's just one letter out of the three billion letter genetic code just one letter off. He actually found that the disease is causing by a single mutation in a single gene, which is really amazing. But this was just the first major breakthrough that soon would be followed by many more discoveries. Dan Kastner found out that the gene involved in familial Mediterranean fever produces a protein, pyrin. Normally, this protein helps to activate our innate immune system, our first line of defense meant for fighting off bacteria and viruses. But here, pyrin made the innate immune system become overactive without any threats from the outside, resulting in fever, stomach pain, and often inflammation in joints. Moving forward, he studied undiagnosed patients with symptoms like these, but also with temporary blindness, hearing loss, and failure of internal organs. In doing so, Dan Kastner went on to identifying many more previously unrecognized disorders. First, the one called TRAPS. Then over a dozen more diseases, many of them, if untreated, deadly. And he called all of these auto-inflammatory diseases. Dr. Kastner has been called the father of auto-inflammatory diseases, and rightly so. I think what Dr. Kastner has achieved is really amazing. It's a dream for every physician scientist. Does it find a disease-causing gene for your patient, understand the molecular mechanism for disease, and find the right therapy for your patient? It's a dream. Oh, that is my father. For Victoria Markland, Dan Kastner's work has truly changed her life. Before her, her grandfather and father died after kidney complications, a consequence of the auto-inflammatory disease traps. And Victoria Markland was also ill, but at 38 she was diagnosed, treated, and is now living symptom-free. Oh, that someone would come up with what it was and what it would depend on, that I have been told many times. It feels fantastic. Dels får reda på ja, vad det var och vad det berodde på och sen att det faktiskt fanns en medicin som kunde hjälpa till. Det är bra. And her nephews both with traps. They don't feel the disease at all. 
as they were diagnosed and given medicine from an early age, thanks to the work of Dan Kastner, who is now awarded the Crawford Prize. I was absolutely dumbfounded when I took the call. I was in the middle of another meeting and was not expecting this call from Sweden at all. This is one of the greatest honors that I have ever experienced in my whole life. I am not sure what I will do with the money, but I'm sure that it will go to advance further the research on auto-inflammatory diseases and to help our patients. The Crawford Prize is awarded in partnership between the Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences and the Crawford Foundation in Lund. The Academy is responsible for selecting the Crawford Laureates. <laughs>